bad news, everyone. What is up, skaters? Welcome back. Dr. Dread here. I just wanted to take a moment today to talk to you about my roller skate first aid kit, or as I like to call it, my tool bag. So let's talk about tool bags, the bag in general itself. This particular bag I feel is a really good product. It's made out of a real thick Cordura material, and if you unzip it and look on the inside, it has another type of material that's lined on the inside that makes it um, extra protected from Allen wrenches and other sharp tools that you may keep on the inside. However, I've seen people use makeup bags, uh, pencil bags, you know, any any type of bag that has a small zipper on it, something small and conveniently, you know, you can carry around or it doesn't take a lot of room up inside your skate bag. So, you know, I, I personally recommend this one because I've, I've had it for a really long time. I think six or seven years and it's it's always been there for me and and held up so this bag stays inside my skate bag at the foot of my skate bag i usually um, take it out whenever we have games it'll go to the bench with me and i keep things that i may need on the bench or in case of emergencies during a game i, I always want to have this close that way if something happens, I have quick access to the things inside. Um, looking on the inside, let's go ahead and open it up. First thing you'll see here, I have a, a Vix nasal inhaler. Um, this, uh, basically, I use this if I have a cold or something like that, and my sinuses are all clogged up. This will open them up real quick. Uh, so I try to keep a new one of these in my bag just in case somebody else needs it. Um, it gets they get used quite frequently i'll keep a, a roll of athletic tape in my bag uh, for wrist guards and knee pads and such um, i keep a t-tool in my bag that works for some trucks um, all axle nuts and some mounting hardware depending on the the skate and stuff i keep a, a little bearing tool in my bag um, I keep a spare parts bag in my bag. I'll go through this in a few minutes. Um, some spare mounting hardware. Um, toe stop wrench. Um, I really like these ones with the T-grip. You can get a lot more leverage on the, on the toe stop Allen screw with this because, uh, you know, you can use it, get a lot more leverage on there. Um, I do keep an old sunlight toe stop wrench in my bag. Um, I think this wrench is probably older than I am. Um, let's see what else is in here. I keep uh, a smaller Allen wrench. Um, this is uh, used for the toe stop uh, bolts on nylon plates. Um, I keep a Craftsman um, 7 16 and uh, 3 8 wrench. Yeah, I think that, that's 3 8 You can see that, yeah. So that's actually the mounting hardware wrench for mounting your plates onto your boots. Those little, um, the little uh, nuts on the bottom of the, the plate, those come loose sometimes, so I keep one of those in there. And then these are uh, adjustments for adjustable pivot pins, these wrenches. And I keep, this is the wrench that adjusts the, the pivot, well, I guess the kingpin nut is what it's actually called, for adjusting the tightness of your trucks. And then I keep, this is like a little tool that goes inside the, uh, the T-wrench. It works for my particular mounting hardware because I use a T-mount on my skates, which that Allen wrench comes in really handy. And sometimes for, depending on the mounting hardware on the inside of the skate boot that Phillips head works really well for. Okay, so let's talk about the extra parts that I keep in my bag. 
I'm a firm believer in keeping an extra of just about everything just in case. You never know when you're going to be in a game or a practice or you could be away from home or definitely away from a skate shop and need something because something fails. Um, the uh, hardware usually, very occasionally, you know, somebody has missed a piece of hardware or something and, and we've needed that or, you know, it it's always pays to have extra stuff. So if we kind of, I'm just gonna open up this bag here and talk about, I keep an extra brand new set of bearings in in here, not a whole set, just two extra bearings, just in case um, one of the bearings blows up or in case I've never had a bearing blow up in roller derby, <laughs> but um, it never fails. Usually someone's complaining that they're their bearings start making like a ground grinding noise or the, they feel like they're gonna blow up. Um, I do wear a hockey helmet when I skate, so I keep extra visor bolts and spacers in my bag. Um, I keep a full extra set of, of axle nuts in my bag. And then if we go further into the into the tool bag here extra things that I keep, if you can see in this, I keep an extra kingpin, um, extra one-click adjustment nuts, and uh, extra washers, a full set, and extra toe stop screws or bolts. Um, I keep two sets of them in there just in case because they round out pretty easily and, you know, at, seems to be an issue with a lot of plates so i always keep extras a bunch of extras just in case so yeah these are some of the things that i keep in my tool bag and like i said this always stays in my skate bag and it kind of goes to the the bench with me whenever we're at a game um if you need to know any of the sizes of any of the tools you can usually take your skate to a local skate shop and they can help you pick out tools um that will fit all the parts on your skates. It's good to have a tool that fits everything just in case. Um, so some things that you want to look at is keeping like some extra cushions, extra bearings, and just extra things for your skates along with you. Um, just in chance that you may need them or even one of your teammates may need them. You never know. Um, I tend to share more things than I end up using, which I'm always happy to do. Um, Everybody on my team knows that if they have an issue with something, they can always come to me, and I tend to keep extras of just about everything in my bag. I really hope this video has helped you out in some sort of way and given you some options on what you can put in your tool bag. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it, and stick around for another video. See you next time.